Welcome back to Bloom. This year's theme for National Nutrition Month is fuel for the future. And our next guest believes that starts with the art and the joy of home cooking. Joining me now is registered dietitian and longevity nutritionist, Ella DeVar. Ella, it's great to see you as always. Likewise, Gail. I'm so excited to cook with you today. <laughs> me too. And today we're talking about a fish that I absolutely love, salmon. But you say it's so important that we source our salmon properly. Yeah, so the home cooking and the joy of ho home cooking is so important for us and for our future. And a lot of people, when I recommend them high protein breakfast options, they don't associate a homemade lox with something being so easy to make. So, and not only home cooking that the research shows helps us to stay lean, disease free, it also helps us to save money. When we go to a grocery store and when we buy a pack of um, lox, is it usually how much? 12 or 15 dollars yeah, for lot. like five to eight slices <laughs> yes. right and today i'm going to show you how easy it is to make at home not only to save money but also when you cook at home you have a control of the quality of the produce and i'm going to explain to you why it is so important that i recommend my clients choosing the wild caught versus farm raised okay over here if you look to the right um we have the two types of fish mm -hmm. and remember how i told you antioxidants are responsible for the deep bright color and antioxidants are great girl's best friends because that those are the, the natural uh, components that help our skin to glow. They give our skin elasticity and help our heart to function. So can you guess which one has more antioxidants? Well, I was going to guess that I, I may be wrong because they alter our food so much. I was going to think the one with more color in it. But am I wrong? No, absolutely. Oh, I am. The, okay. the, the, the antioxidants that helps our skin to glow, that help our uh, brain to function, they are the ones responsible for the deep color. And the wild caught salmon is bright okay, orange. Okay, good. That's why. And the, you see the pale orange color? Yes. That's the farm raised. And that's why I love using the wild caught salmon. And then for breakfast, it is so easy to make. Not a lot of people realize that all we're going to use are basically two, three ingredients. It's the high quality salmon, okay. salt, and spices. All right. I didn't know that you could do your own locks. Right? Yeah, not a lot of people great. think about it. And then. And to your point, because yeah. you said you might not always be getting the wild caught salmon when you go to your grocery store and reach for the expensive locks. Exactly. So this way, when you cook at home, you know the quality that you're getting. So all we need is to cover the, the, uh, the plastic wrap with the salt. Okay. And here I'm going to use fresh herbs like dill. A lot of people, when they use traditional recipes for, sa uh, for salmon lox, and you'll see, they use sugar for preserving okay. in addition to salt. I don't like to use it. And you'll see that the flavor of it is just as great because we'll be using a lot of herbs. So we're making sure that all we need is a lot of salt, that we're going to cover it and with salt. salt. Okay. Yeah. And I see that you did salt, so even the skin side needs... Both a, sides. Okay, yes. both sides need a lot of salt. Okay. That's the secret. And the salt is what's going to be cooking the fish. Brining and okay. curing it. Yeah. So they, I don't like to measure the ingredients in my kitchen. So <laughs> all I do is just making sure it's all covered with salt. The salmon would absorb, will absorb the salt and the rest will just stay on it and then we'll wash it off. Okay. I yeah. use some herbs, but my favorite is fresh dill. It's an Eastern European Scandinavian dish and dill is huge in Eastern Europe. And the black pepper for extra flavor. Okay. And there you go. This looks and smells so delicious. Gail, we're almost done. <laughs> okay, that's fast. <laughs> that was fast. Now, yeah. once you wrap this all up, how long does it take for it to all meld together? You'll be surprised. 24 hours and you're and really? it's ready for you. Yes. Okay. All we need to do is make sure that we tie it up really tight okay. to uh, remove all the oxygen, right, and to let it brine. We'll put it in the glass container. All right and store it for 24 hours in the fridge. And then what I like to use is like a heavy weight just to weigh it down, really like squeeze all the liquids out, brine it and uh, prevent the oxygen from from uh, seeping oxidizing. in. Yes. Okay. And that's it. That's how it's going to go in the fridge. And oh, you're going to actually keep this on there in yes, the fridge? for 24 hours. Okay, so, yes. so you're pressing it down, you're putting it in the fridge, and then the next morning you're serving it up. Yep. This is what okay. it looks like the next day. When it's ready, all you need to do is open it up, use a sharp knife, uh, wash off the salt, and most, most of the salt will be still on it. And then once wow. you slice it so up. Th that's it. You don't have to cook it at this point. No. The salt did the work for you. Exactly. That's a, it's called the cured salmon. 
and that's how it's so easy to make and basically there's no cooking involved. And that's how it is when we get our locks at the grocery store. This is the process. They've just done it for us. Yes, but and they've most charged of them, us more. Yes, and they added a ton of preservatives. If you really look at the ingredients, yeah, there's a lot of silicones wow. and additives and preservatives that we don't need. We'd rather make it at home with I us. love this. Ella, thank you. Learn something every day new here on Blim. We're going to post this recipe for you on our website.